Meanwhile, loved ones are mourning the loss of a Woonsocket man who died in a motorcycle crash. The single vehicle accident happened around 7 a.m. yesterday on Farnham Pike in Smithfield. Our Jake Holter talked to the victim's best friend and joins us now live in studio with how he wants his friend remembered. Jake. Well, Kayla and Kim, the death of 37 year old Roland Bove or Bo has come as a total shock to his loved ones who have nothing but the best to say about him. Bo was always a phone call away, whether it was you were broken down, you needed advice on something, he, he was there. Cody Mainville has been friends with Bo for more than 14 years, so when he got the call that he passed, he couldn't believe it. Even this morning, it's still not a reality because we, we talk every night, you know, throughout the night multiple times, and for my phone not to go off last night with his name, that really kind of, you know, brought it home. A makeshift memorial for Bo near the scene of the accident, which Mainville came to visit Wednesday morning. He had a laugh that it would drive you nuts after a while. It was kind of obnoxious, but it was just a laugh that would just fill a room, and everybody's remembering his laugh. Mainville says Bo had a huge impact on his life. He actually led me to meet my wife now. We, uh, he was hang, you know, she used to hang out with him and his friends, and that's how we ended up becoming, you know, together. He says Bo has four kids and he's just heartbroken for them. Your heart goes out to the kids immediately. You know, obviously we have to console each other, you know, and, and friends. And um, you just got to keep the kids in consideration. We have to make sure that they understand their father's legacy and, you know, live on through their dad. And we, we make sure they got everything they need. A fellow tow truck driver, Mainville says Bo was committed to his job. Bo was, he was the hardest working guy you'd ever meet. He'd work day, night to make sure that it wasn't even just for his benefit. It was to make sure his kids were taken care of at the end of the day. He was just an all around family man and he just wanted the best for his kids. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Now Mainville says he's trying to organize a tow truck processional in the next week to honor Bo. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.